Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome up to my craft room again. Today, I am going to show you the first in the um, series of gift card and money holders that I did as a class at a recent retreat with Ready, Set, Crop that I was a vendor at. And I taught this class at the retreat, and I thought I would share with you how to make these gift card holders. So this gift card holders and money holder set um, I used the Silver Bells collection for. I used two sheets of pattern paper and um, several sheets of cardstock to make this. Now, all of the cutting directions on this and everything are available on my blog, and I will link to my blog post in with the um, video descriptions, as well as there'll be a link to a downloadable PDF on the blog post, so you can get all of the directions on how to cut and make all five of these. I'm gonna do each one as its own video just so that if you're only interested in one particular piece, you don't have to kind of scroll through. But I do hope that if you like and enjoy these gift card money holders, you do like and subscribe to my channel and um, like and subscribe to my blog. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Now, the first one we're going to make is this gift card holder. So I'm gonna move these other ones out of the way. And for this, you're going to need, you'll need the pre-cut pieces that um, the directions will show you how to make. And then you're gonna need some stamped images. I use the Silver Bells card making stamp set for this. Um, I used some charcoal and toffee ink to stamp my images. And I also used some of the um, Colorista colored pencils to just kind of lightly shade in the images. And then what I did at the end of the coloring and everything like that, and once I have everything assembled, is I add some platinum stickles to embellish the pieces. You'll need a punch, um, one inch, one and a quarter inch will work. Um, some basic adhesive, a strong adhesive, and this is mainly to make your pocket and the belly band that'll go around the um, closed gift card holder. And then, um, of course, some scissors. And you're gonna need a scoring platform or your, um, your, your um, cutting platform with a scoring blade attached. Now this is a um, simple kind of fold out gift card holder with a belly band. So if you're not familiar with a belly band, this is just kind of this technique to wrap a piece of cardstock or pattern paper around to kind of secure something closed. So this is a fold out, this, and inside here we have the pocket to hold the gift card. So let me walk you through it. Now, on the cutting directions and everything, everything is all labeled in terms of what particular projects they go through. So I recommend when you do your cutting with this that you put everything in piles to go with the correct particular piece. So I have one bell that I've stamped and colored in. I have um, one ornament with leaves. I have my small sentiment block. I have a piece of zip strip. And then I have my different pieces for matting and for decorating the thing. So we're going to start off with our um, pattern, our, our cardstock here. So we're going to be scoring this. This is a piece that is six and a quarter by eight and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to score along the six and a quarter inch side. We're gonna score this, and I'm gonna actually turn this around because I'm gonna want, I tend to score on the back side of the paper just from the standpoint of with my folding. I don't think there's really necessarily a right or, way, right or wrong way to do this. So on my six and a quarter inch side, I am gonna score at three and one eighth. And then I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. And on the eight and a half inch side, I'm gonna score at four and a quarter. So basically, just two score points. Now I'm gonna take my scissors, and you could do this with a trimmer. I'm gonna cut off this. Basically, when we fold this in and fold this down, this is the top left corner. We're gonna cut this out. We're not gonna throw it away because we are gonna use this to make the pocket. So I'm gonna cut down the, along the score line to the center score line. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in at 
a little bit, like an eighth of an inch below my three and an eighth score line. So let me just get that cut. So now I have these two pieces. So what I need to do with this piece is I'm going to cut this down. I'm just going to grab my cutting blade here. So I'm going to take my scoring blade out and I'm going to put my cutting blade back in. You're going to take this cut out piece and you're going to cut this down to four inches wide by two and seven eighths inch tall because this is going to make our pocket. Okay, just take this out of the way. And that's all we really need our trimmer for is just those. I'm just going to put this off on the side here. Get it out of my way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my punch and I, tr I tend to do this on with looking at the back side. And you could line it up on a ruler, but I'm going to center this and I'm going to punch a notch. And this is to make the gift card holder come out of the pocket. So there's my pocket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this side in and fold this piece down. And you can use a bone folder if you wish to kind of crease these score lines. And I mean, these are basically the pieces. Now for the pocket, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some strong adhesive tape and I'm going to put it on three sides. So uh, close to the edge. So I'm going to put some here. I use, there's m many kinds of strong adhesive tape that you can use. I use a tearaway tape that I have but there's also other adhesive tapes. Now I'm going to adhere this to the inside bottom panel on the left. But I'm what I do when I do this is I'm going to line it up, but I'm going to use my fingers to kind of lift the center up a little bit because I want to give, so here the bottom, but I'm going to kind of use my finger to give a little bit of room to the pocket. And I do this so that I can kind of make sure I can stick a finger in. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it, just because that's going to give me some, you know, room for the, the gift card to slide in and out. Now I'm going to decorate this with a piece of zip strip. Just get my adhesive on there. And you can put this anywhere on the pocket you want. And my little sentiment block. that there. And then now I'm going to start to decorate the inside. So this sentiment piece, I've stamped this again. I've stamped the pre-stamped everything is I stamped it with the sentiment with the charcoal ink and the ornament with bow with the toffee ink. And then I used a little bit of these pencils to, um, color this in. Now I'm going to, I won't do this while I'm with you guys, but what I did with this on my finished finished piece is I did, um, make sure I colored it in just, I gave it a subtle, you know, and you can really color this in however you want. Now the next piece I'm going to put in is going to be this top piece. And I'm using the back side of this double-sided pattern paper. And this is a pattern that doesn't really matter how it goes. So there's your inside. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to flip this over, is I'm going to be adhering this piece to that front fold-out panel. And then now I'm going to decorate the front. So what I did is I matted a piece of our pattern paper with some mink cardstock just to add a little bit something extra on this. And then I put this on the very front. Just mount this here. And now I've got my belly band. Now, if you're not familiar with a belly band, um, best way to do it, and this is what I recommend, is I take my adhesive, oops, my backing already came off. Put it on the back side of the paper. 
And then what we're going to want to do, because there's going to be a seam, I have the seam hidden on the front. So I'm going to take my belly band, put it on the on the back, I'm going to loop around. But you give yourself a little bit of room because you want this to slide easily off and on. So as I kind of fold it up, I'm just making sure this is not a strong crease. If you can kind of see here, I'll show you this a little bit better. It's kind of loosely folded. It's not creased. And then the same thing with the bottom piece coming up. And I do this on the front because we're going to use one of my stamped pieces, this bell with the leaves, and we're gonna cover the seam with that. So now this will slide off and on. And I have one more piece to embellish. I'm gonna add this ornament with leaves here. And what I did on my final piece is I used some of the platinum stickles to kind of decorate the bell and to decorate that the ornament with leaves. So that's the first of my gift card holders featuring the Silver Bells collection. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to sharing the next gift card holder with you. Thank you.